The Green Party of Nova Scotia is a green political party in the Canadian province of Nova Scotia. It received official party status in the province in April 2006. The party has not won any seats in the Nova Scotia House of Assembly. As of November 2015 it emphasized that, "...the Green Party embraces the Environmental Goals and Sustainable Prosperity Act Nova Scotia and the Nova Scotia Genuine Progress Index GPI. 5. The GPNS Executive is organized regionally. Leadership Nick Wright of Halifax, Nova Scotia won its first contested leadership nomination race over Green Party of Canada candidate and organizer Sheila Richardson of Wolfville, Nova Scotia. In May 2007, Wright was replaced by Ken McGowan, but resigned in protest with both his deputies in a constitutional struggle over unelected rival Ellen Durkee's presence on the executive, to be replaced by Durkee as interim leader. Ryan Watson was elected leader of the Green Party of Nova Scotia on Sunday, June 29, 2008. Watson, from Halifax, was unopposed and contested the Nova Scotia general election, 2009. The party failed to file financial paperwork with Elections Nova Scotia by the April deadline, but when Watson resigned, he denied this was the reason. On October 31, 2009, John Percy was announced as the new leader of the Green Party of Nova Scotia following a leadership contest against Sebastian Ronan. Dorna Taze was Percy's running mate and thus became deputy leader of the party. However, Taze moved to Ontario in early 2010 and thus resigned her position. Chris McClellan was chosen as deputy leader by executive committee vote in October 2011, prior to the AGM. Percy made a point of emphasizing politicians of other political stripes he admired including Joe Clark, Ed Broadbent, Stephen Lewis and Peter Stoffer. After the Nova Scotia general election, 2013 in which it fielded only 16 candidates in 51 districts, the party was largely dormant and invisible in NS politics. Leader John Percy was also Veterans Affairs critic in the Green Party of Canada Shadow Cabinet, and this was an active file during the Stephen Harper regime until its demise in the Canadian general election, 2015. Percy resigned in 2015 and was replaced by interim leader Bryn Niley. The party was to hold a leadership convention on February 6, 2016. However, no one came forward to run for leader. After this experience of near collapse, Thomas Trappenberg was elected leader in November 2016. He and deputy leader Jessica Alexander led the party in the 2017 election, where the party ran 32 candidates and received 2.78% of the vote. This was the highest total ever achieved by the party, both in terms of total votes and percentage, though the party did not elect any members. Conventions Founding convention The party's first convention was held on March 4–5, 2006, at the convention the party unanimously approved its constitution which divided powers in a way fairly conventional among Green parties, and executive controlled regional relations, regions retained control of their local policies and candidacies, and a policy committee took control of the overall platform and positions taken even during an election. The leader's role was to act as spokesperson and organize his or her most trusted critics as a shadow cabinet or once elected, a caucus. Leaders and deputies would run together on a «ticket» for continuity and to assess leader judgment of persons before they are elected to the critical role. Members also voted to support the six principles of the Global Green Charter, elected an executive and chose a party logo. Topic. Leaders Nick Wright 2006–2007 Ken McGowan 2007–2008 Ellen Durkee 2008 interim. Ryan Watson 2008–2009 John Percy 2009–2015 
Bryn Niley interim 2015-2016 Thomas Trappenberg 2016 present Topic Election results 2006 to 2017 Topic Election campaigns In its first provincial election, less than three months after the founding convention, the party had a full slate of candidates and went on to win 2.33% of the popular vote 9,411 votes. See also List of Green Party leaders in Canada List of Green politicians who have held office in Canada